to do that to wow. practice my Spanish some more. Oh. So, <laughs> you know, so um, I got the, the opportunity to actually do a four month intensive oral Spanish course. Wow, so I better before learn going. Spanish. Yeah, so entonces estoy aquí. <laughs> Gloria a uh, Dios. <laughs> ¿Te comprende español uh, muy un poquito? poquito? Uh, sí, sí. Es mucho, yo creo. <laughs> <laughs> so you know that that took me abroad and and, and I just enjoyed the, the fact that I could get to understand other cultures and enjoyed Mexico City and enjoyed the people so much that I wanted to live there I was actually oh, going wow. to um, I was gonna resign from the Jamaican Embassy to live there but I guess wow. that was not God's plan so that didn't happen and I came back and then you know went back again so to other places but um yeah that's a part of my journey <laughs> wow and now you are in what should I say you're retired from your second job but now you're in full-time ministry yes mode. um well yes and during that course of time I um I did various things I I did a little bit of nursing um just to Prior to, I also worked with a maternity home for pregnant teens and women in North wow. Carolina, and that for 15 years as a program coordinator. That was that itself was like a ministry, not just a job, mm -hmm. because we saw 108 babies saved from abortion. We had 108 babies born in that program during that space of time. Um, then I went into substitute teaching and then finally here because the program closed down. So, um, yes, I'm here with my husband and um, we are retired, as I said before. And the Lord has led us into ministry, which we had no idea that was going to happen at all. So we are very, wow. very privileged to, you know, to be able to receive that calling from the Lord. That's awesome, awesome. And let me just take the time to say, uh, I think once an essential worker, always an essential worker. So thank you for all you have done in the medical field. <laughs> thank you. That means you have been yeah. one too. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. So I want to find out from you the transition from all those things into music. Hmm. What's well, the testimony behind that? The thing is, I actually started singing at about six years old. Um, wow. I guess that was always ingrained in me and, and God has given me a gift, which I realized. And I started singing in, in school here in Jamaica, in primary school. And yes. I remember singing, nobody's business but me own. <laughs> I don't oh, know if you wow. remember that song. That's an old school that, one. That, that was, that's way, way, way back there, you know. And, and um, then I got the opportunity to become a part of the Arden High School Choir in Kingston. Mm -hmm. Got training from Noel Dexter, who was very well known in Jamaica, but um, he really drilled us. He drilled us and he wanted the best to come forth. So we had to learn how to enunciate, how to project. You know, he would say, hit the wall. And we had to... Without a mic now, you had to make sure your voice would carry. And so he taught us that, the breathing exercises and all of that. He entered some of us into the solar competition. And, yes. you know, we got our little trophies and, and what have you. And so that was very encouraging. And then even after school, I decided, um, which was high school, I decided that I wanted to continue the training. So I would go back to him for that, private lessons. Yes. So, you know, and then that led me into... Um, when I, when I went to the United States, I finally became a part of a praise team in North Carolina. And um, that was also a part of the experience to be able to share with them, you know, how to enunciate and all the things that I had learned. I wanted to make sure other people could do the same, you know, so um, that itself was really good. I need to back up a little bit because I was also and I'm not sure if I shared this with you, but I was also a part of the Brooklyn Tabernacle Choir in New what? York City. <laughs> the, 
Listen, shout out what to Brooklyn Tabernacle. This is a New York station. <laughs> yes. And so shout out to Brooklyn Tabernacle <laughs> yes. Choir. Yes. That's a big deal. Yes, that was for about five years between 1985 and 1990. Yes, I was a member of the choir and that was an awesome experience, really. You know, wow. I think it, 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 it pulled certain things out of me and um, it was just a remarkable experience, you know, having to um, just, I, as you know, when we started, it was about maybe, I would say, 150 of us in the choir at that yes. time. That, that is bigger than some congregations, right? And, and now there are like about 350 of them singing on the platform there at Brooklyn Tabernacle. Ne another, a completely different building, you know, but um, that was really a, a wonderful experience for me, you know. Wow. Could you take us down that memory lane for a minute or two? What was the experience like <laughs> and how did it impact your worship culture? Okay, um, well, first of all, I, I was really drawn to the 